Okay, in this video, I am going to show you a blend and how to set up a report to look at trending keywords, keywords that are trending up or trending down in terms of uh, impression volume is what I'm going to show you, but you could, you could pick a, a different metric as well. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a blend and I'm going to add a table and the table here and it's going to default to the last data source I used. I'm going to switch this to Google Search Console data. And now what I want is I want the, the query here and we'll go I'm going to add for impressions, clicks, and average position. And then I'm going to I'm going to change the the date range for this. So I'm going to say a custom date range and I'm going to pick Let's say we'll go last 28 days. That seems, um, yeah, that seems good. Okay, so leave that uh, last 28 days. Now, when I was setting up this report in the first place, I added a um, Basically, I just added a rectangle over the date field. Since this date field is not going to apply to this tab, I'm going to go ahead and do that again. And I'm going to fill that with the background color. And then I can do move the arrow key with pulling shift down. So I can just move it a little bit. Okay, so now we've gotten rid of that date field. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to copy it. Okay, so now I have it here. And then for this one, I'm going to go down in on my date field. And you may wonder why I'm not just doing this as a comparison. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to be able to sort on the, the, uh, the percent change field, which you can't do if you just do a comparison of date ranges. So now what I want to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to pick advanced and I'm going to say to, I'll start over here. Advanced and change that to 28. Actually well, I can't do that yet, it won't let me. So I'm gonna go, so 56, just 28 times two, and then we're gonna go to 29. So 56 days up to 29 days. I'm gonna apply that. Then I'm gonna select, I'm gonna do hold shift and select, so I have both tables selected. And I'm gonna right click and I'm going to say blend data. Okay, now we got a lot of data here. I'm going to get rid of these tables. And I really just created them to create my blend. Now I'm going to go in, in this blended data. I'm going to click this pencil icon to edit it. Make this a little bigger. All right, so now we have the using date range from chart and I think I actually selected them in reverse order. I, just to be safe, I'm going to go ahead and, okay, so we have this one picked the last 28 days. So in this one, I'm going to go, I'm going to just going to do the same thing I did before. Advanced. And I'm going to say 56, 29, apply, 
And now um, I'm going to change the names of these to pre let's say previous impressions. Okay, so I've got those. I'm going to save that. Close. And we're going to make this a little bigger because we need to be that small. Okay, then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a little bit of reorganizing. So I'll have impressions here. I'm going to move this up. Um, previous impressions, I'll move CTR. So now I have them in order. So impressions, previous impressions, clicks, previous clicks, average position, previous position. And the last thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a metric and I'm going to do a create a field. So what I'm going to do here is um, I'll call this um, impression change and for this what I'll do is I'm going to write a formula so I'm going to do impressions minus previous impressions and I got to put that inside parenthesis because I wanted to do that calculation and then I'm going to do it over previous impressions and the type of this field, I want this to be a, a percent. So I'm going to apply that. Okay. And then I've got this impression change down here. I'm going to move this up with impressions. And then I'm going to go ahead and make that my sort field. Okay. Now, we see one thing that is sort of problematic here, which is that for, like, it's not surprising, but when you, like, you're going to get a pretty significant impression change when your denominator is one or, or a very small number. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to go ahead and, and, and add a filter to this, this report. Um, but the way that I want to do that is... Um, in my blended data, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a filter here and I'm going to say create filter and I'm going to say impressions 10 and So we'll say greater than or equal to 10. So be consistent, change that to greater than or equal to. Save. Close. So there we go. So what we have now, let me just go ahead and view this is we have this table that shows from Search Console data from the last 28 days compared to the previous 28 days where we've seen the biggest increase in impressions. So a uh, little trending keywords report applying a, um, a blend, doing a filter on the blend. We added a calculated field. One thing to know is that blends can be sort of fussy when it comes to applying filter controls. Um, and and I, I apply that filter to the data source of the blend. That generally works, uh, applying a filter to the blend itself, um, unless the, the data exactly matches, uh, can be uh, problematic. Um, and 
Uh, uh,